To preview a font in FontForge, use the Metrics view. And in order to open it, you go to the Metrics tab and select New Metrics window. In here, you have a text box, in which you simply type in the glyphs that you want to preview. The only problem that you have to keep in mind is that you can't type in some of the glyphs just by using your keyboard. As you can see, even though I've typed in a glyph, it won't show up. That's because FontForge has its own input method. There are a few ways to insert those glyphs into the metrics view, but the easiest way is to select a glyph in font view, then just simply click and drag it into the metrics view. Make sure you select the glyph first, otherwise if you just click and drag, you end up selecting multiple glyphs. Another way to do it is to type forward slash, then followed by the glyph's name. That's if you want to learn the name of the glyphs and speed up your workflow. To see the name of the glyphs, you go to font view and simply hover over the glyph and a text box will pop up. The name will be shown between quotation marks. For example, this one is number sign. So you type in forward slash number sign. The metrics view is a very useful tool to preview your fonts, but where it truly shines is helping you correct your tracking and your kerning. As you can see on the right side, you can select the current subtable you want to edit. On the bottom side, you have the glyph name, the width, the left and the right bearing, and also the kern. So let's say I want to add tracking with a separation value of 50. What I want to do is simply add 50 to the width of the letters. As you can see, this will add an equal left and right bearing. But if I want to edit the side bearings individually, I can do that as well, by editing the values in the corresponding boxes. Then you have the kern, which is done between pairs. So for example, if I want to kern KE closer, first I type in the value, then I press hyphen or minus to get the negative value. So you can't type in minus 90. You have to type in the number, then add the minus. The most useful part of this is that I can scale the metrics window how I want in order to see all the details. I can even zoom on the text by going to view, then clicking on zoom in or zoom out. If you want to edit your tracking or kern just by using click and drag without having to type in a value, you can do that as well. First of all, make sure you're able to see the grid lines. To do that, go to View, Show Grid, and select Show. Then go to the Metrics tab. Select Window Type, and you have three options. The first one is Kern, the second one is Tracking, and the third one is Kern and Tracking. Let's say I want to edit a Kern. Select Kerning only from the Window Type, and now what you want to do is simply drag the green line that's between the glyphs to edit the kern. To edit the tracking, go to the metrics tab, window type and select advanced width only. Then you have to click on the glyph that you want to edit. If you want to edit the left bearing, then click and drag the glyph. If you want to edit the right bearing, then click and drag the line that's on the right of the glyph. In case you want to edit the kern and tracking at the same time, Go to Metrics, Window Type and select both. Then select the glyph that you want to edit. Now, the green line is going to change your curve. Dragging the glyph is for the left bearing and the blue line is for the right bearing. Using it this way, you will notice it's a bit tricky. That's why I usually prefer to select the curve or tracking only from Window Type. In the last tutorial, I told you that I'll be showing you an easier way to get rid of all the negative space between the glyphs after you use AutoCurl. To do that, we will be using the Load Word List option. The Load Word List option allows you to upload words from a text file. And even though it doesn't sound like much, you can use it to load kerning pairs straight into the metrics view. First click on the arrow down at the top right hand side. 
then click the load word list, select the text file from your PC and then click OK. In this text file I have all the kerning pairs for the letters and all I have to do is use the scroll bar at the bottom to browse through the kerning pairs and correct the kerning when needed. Since the metrics view doesn't show multiple lines, if I want to change between lines that I have in the text document, all I have to do is click on the arrow down or arrow up on the keyboard. If you have any questions, join the Discord channel. The link is in the description.